those companies who reacted very negatively to the recession remain flat, while those companies that actually doubled down during the recession and took advantage of it and took advantage of competitor moves to drive growth actually had outsized growth coming out of a recession. Hey, go find me the inefficient pockets. Why don't we take these dollars and go redeploy them in more efficient channels and see if we can increase the conversion rates in a different channel and get a better outcome for this spend. And I think that CEOs, boards, they're gonna wanna see you doing that across your company. When you're able to coordinate marketing and sales and product and product marketing to run a coordinated play within an enterprise, that's really where magic happens. We saw consistently that companies that really focused on go-to-market plays and really executed them well had outsized growth, which is why we're focusing on um, go-to-market plays today and why that was one of the four things that really drove companies um, to grow during a recession. When you can marry a company who's engaging with your content to a company that's spiking on intent for your particular products or services, or a company that's uh, coming to your website in an anonymous way that you can correlate back to interest, that becomes really powerful, much more powerful than either one on, on their own. Because the customers, if they're gonna get fatigued by anything, they're gonna be especially fatigued by showing up to a call where their account manager doesn't know their business, doesn't know their own business, our business, and can't be consultative and help them get to the next stage. With this economic downturn, we were thinking we probably need to be speaking to this more. Uh, and so we went into Chorus and we essentially set up a Boolean search that said when people are talking about the economy, what are the things that they're saying? Uh, and we use that to then inform some of the ads that we created. Go to market plays are just an iteration and an evolution of what ABM wanted to be. Um, but I think if you just look at the words, account-based marketing, and then go-to-market plays, go-to-market plays really implies a much more coordinated effort across go-to-market. And I do think that that is a missing piece behind ABM that doesn't get you all the way there. I use it for M&A, and so we've done 15 acquisitions since 2015. If I want to know what people really think about a product, it's all in the same ecosystem, so I just go listen to the calls, and sales rep will come to my office and say, oh, I'm really hearing this competitor come up all the time. Now I can take that, I can just go look and see if that competitor or that feature or that functionality is actually coming up more often than it has been historically. Thank you.